So, uh, here in our RV, we have the mini Mongolian stove from Silver Fire Stove Works. I think that's our official name. Uh, it's a small, like, 13 inch by 13 inch by 22 inches high, about, uh, rocket stove. It's a vertical burn rocket stove. As you can see in here, I've got the fire going. The primary combustion chamber is here. The secondary combustion chamber is above it, just underneath the wok. So the fire kind of swirls around the wok here, cooking it really nicely. Now, you know, cut your wood into small pieces. It's pretty full right now. I'm just going to put a little bit more in to increase the heat. Now with this nice stove, to get it into this RV, of course, I wanted to put it on a hearth pad. So my friend got me a... a he was doing something for a, a couple who were getting rid of this old granite countertop. So I just took it, drilled some holes through it, bolted the stove to the grouter, granite countertop, and then mounted that above my floor. To minimize the distance from the walls, so that I could minimize the, the, the space it takes up in my house, so it doesn't have to be, you know, a foot from the walls, or six inches from the walls, or whatever. I've got it six inches right now, but still. I've got, um, of course, double-walled stove pipe. That's kind of hot. And uh, then I've got this galvanized sheet metal roofing mounted an inch off the wall. So that, that eliminates, that reduces the amount of distance I need for my stove from the wall because that increases the, uh, the, the heat conduction of the area. Mm -hmm. So, I can fit this nice stove in this little, well, actually kind of big space, but this space here. Okay, so uh, about how much is something like this run, and like where can somebody find something like oh, this? Oh, Silver Fire Stoves, mm -hmm. I don't know their website, probably silverfire.com, I'm not sure, silverfirestoves.com, I'm not sure, you'd have to Google them. <laughs> Put it in the video notes. But I highly recommend them, I dealt with their owner, uh, he was very nice. He uh, got this out to me. It was actually a scratch and dent model. The back, one of the back um, legs here is bent. But another thing about this is the uh, right here, I have an, this is my air intake. So I have run a piece of uh, piping off here. This is just simple flex tube out to an external vent. So it's pulling air from outside of my RV right. to burn. Rather okay. than burning all the air inside my RV and setting off my car, you know, increasing carbon monoxide levels or decreasing the oxygen level, that's just bad, especially with as tight sealed as this trailer is. Um, and most wood stoves are doing that, right? Most wood stoves do just pull exactly from, from your area where you are. Oh, gosh, garbage, okay. Um, in addition, the very bottom of this, uh, this stove, there's a plate at the bottom of the fire chamber that's, that turns back and forth when I pull this. So that clears the ashes out into this pan. Well, can you very use easy to clear. For? You can use the ashes in your garden. No, no, no. Why, right now, could you, use the, could you transfer that heat source? That was those uh, cinders at the bottom in this, another heat source? Oh, if you wanted to heat your shower water, you could heat it with that. You could, uh, you could pour that into, uh, or use that as a heat to heat the top of a Dutch oven out that you were cooking some, some bread or something outside or some cakes outside. Okay. You could totally do that. Laptop is an I need to get a bigger lid that'll cover this entire uh, walk. <laughs> so how about uh, the ceiling? Pretty easy to uh, do oh, that. And... I just uh, cut a hole through the ceiling. Mm -hmm. I've got a, two, a double wall stove pipe going up through. And then of course I've got just the roof piece. But I took a small piece of an eight inch stove pipe that I got from a Habitat for Humanity store, I cut a piece off and stuck it up through the wall, or through the ceiling. But you could use like a, a, a number 10 tin can or something 
and stick it up to the ceiling for a little bit of protection here and a little bit of air distance. I mean, oh, you can't, I know you can't get this in the mm -hmm. video, but my, it's really hot up here around, around this uh, section here. And then up above that, of course, up on top, I've got a drip protector and then a, a windproof stovepipe because it's really windy out here in the San Luis Valley. Uh, oh, that's going good. Um, it's probably another five or ten minutes before we want to part, start putting stuff in to warm it up. Okay.